All right, guys. So it's a few days later. We got back. Shoot, two, three days ago now. Second day, much better than the first day. I'll just say that you guys will see all this in just a second. But the second day was hands down much better. First day, we were just trying to grind it out. It was real slow. I tried to make that part one video as bearable as I could for you guys. We we got that one big end. We got a few decent fish. We were going all around trying to figure out the backwaters, the lake, stuff like that. So the first day was just kind of like a travel day. I feel like you need realistically three days out there. First day is to figure things out. Second day is to really pinpoint. And then the third day is when you can finally get on them and play them. But uh, the second day we definitely did much better. We didn't get any big ends, but we did get quite a few decent fish. I mean, they were just a lot of pounders, two pounders, stuff like that. Uh, we started to get the feel for it, got the feel for the bite a lot better. We don't fish that style very often. so. I know my hook sets are trash. I know for a fact that I need to rip those fish out of the cover instead of giving them a, a shot to pretty much run right back into the cover. I need to yank on them. I mean, there's so much I gotta learn about that style of fishing, but it was a totally new experience and it was so much fun. So grateful that I could share it with you guys because I mean, without you guys, none of this would be possible. I wouldn't be doing all these trips and stuff like that, especially this year. This year, I'm trying to make it a goal to do a lot of different styles of fishing and I'm definitely gonna be going back to Yuma and doing that style again because it is an absolute ball. And I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys hopping on board to the Southwest Fishing Fam. I mean, we're almost at 2,300 subs. Help me get to 3,000. I feel like that's a pretty realistic goal within the next couple months. And uh, shoot, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and enjoy. Entire trip, bro. That's so funny. Little doink, bro. That's funny. On the floor, though, bro. Pretty quick on it. Bro. Oh my god, I got I got bumped again, bro. Like when it was dropping. Yeah, see, we got like we stay till five if we want. It doesn't matter. Up to us, but which is nice. That's good though. That's a good sign. We got you hooked up for a split second. And I, even though it was a dink, I was able to get one in. Broke the ice, bro. Not bad, not bad. It's a good start for both of us. Little three-quarter pounder, little half pounder. I know. Dude, they're pretty fish. They're not big, but they're cool. I mean, dude, these fish are all spawned out, so they're gonna be going on that feed bag. Sorry, bro. <laughs> bro, I swear to God, I got hit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, sir. That is a solid fish. Dude, if these fish were fat, they'd be freaking chunks. Dude, they're coming straight at us. Watch fish. A little shallower than you like, then you hook up. Yeah. Killer, man. Not my forte of fishing, but clearly yours. See on thump? Still oh, just a pickup. Up, Bro, he literally picked it up and started swimming with it. Yeah. And I almost killed you. Yeah, almost did, dude. <laughs> nice. Spit my bug right there, it's sinking. Damn, I popped in that same exact little pocket, bro. I just didn't cast on the, the left side. I got a Isn't that crazy how you could cast in the same pocket? Almost the same spot, but just because you're a little bit more. That's exactly where it needs to be, bro. That's awesome. Dude, it's kind of bent on the top. Like, the sun's still not at its peak point in the sky. There we go. Little guy, but I'll take it, dude. Breaks the ice. It's been a couple hours. I switched right to the floral, bro. This guy's pale, bro. Little dink. I know you're swinging like there's. You're swinging like it's a freaking six, seven pounder, bro. On these little like one pound bass, they're just they're jolting under the water. 
Yeah, yeah, you're gonna lose a big fish. We got nine fish for the day. And then we got we got nine yesterday all day. We got nine fish today alone. <laughs> which is a lot better. Better one. There we go. Yes, sir. Another one. They're pretty. A real pale, though. You like back up in there. There we go. Yes, sir. Dude, it was that final pop. <laughs> Get down there. There it is. Another decent one. I was about to pull it out, and then I did that one extra pop. Dude, it's crazy. I don't know how people can pull like eights out of this stuff. Just trying to get that sucker out was a pain. All right, guys, so as you guys saw, we got a few fish. We did much better. We fished from sunrise till about two in the afternoon, I think. I think it was about two in the afternoon. May have been like three, but it was at midday. That midday grind was just tough. It was hard fishing, but uh, first thing in the morning, it wasn't too bad. And then stupid moth, get out of here. But uh, midday, it was tough. Very, very grindy fishing. We were picking a few fish off here and there. The fish we were picking off midday, they were way, way back in the cover. But uh, other than that, I mean, we did much better. We caught more fish the second day in a shorter span than we did the first day. My opinion, I feel like we started to figure them out, but we needed that third day to really, really pinpoint them and start getting on them. And the second day we were over at Mitry Lake. Soup and moth. You guys see this? They're like trying to attack me obviously because the light but the second day we were over on Mitry Lake we were doing pretty decent man look at this guy as I said for the third time second day we were over on Mitry Lake we didn't do too bad I really like Mitry Lake I thought it was a very cool lake when we went there they were having a bass tournament of some sort and everybody was riding by asking us if we were catching anything we said a few fish and they're like man lucky like we're, we're struggling today so I felt actually kind of confident and kind of made me a little bit happy that these guys that fish out water quite a bit they were struggling and and we I mean we weren't catching big fish but we were catching fish uh, they were all about a pound a pound and a half max two pounds they weren't big fish but it was still fun it was a fun little outing I feel like if we stayed till evening we would have got on a lot more fish and maybe got another big one but it is what it is and uh, definitely gonna be going out there again I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys make sure to like subscribe hit the bell notification and we'll see you guys next time on Southwest Fishing.